Hello, it's Sarah, and I got a surprise this morning. My husband ordered this kit for me. So this, I had to hold the camera today, is from Australia. It's called Mosaic Tiles Australia. This is the mosaic that I ordered, and this is the substrate. It's about, let's see how big, uh, 23 inches round so it's quite large 12 and 12 is 24 so it's a good two feet round and it's like a floral pattern mandala so you can see it better in the picture and I shared so I have my um, iPad set up because I had shared with him when I first started looking for mosaics this time around on YouTube that um, it would be so great if I could just get a kit because I wanted to familiarize myself. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the camera back up. So I'll be right back. Um, I wanted to familiar, familiarize myself with all of the different tracera they call it. So the different types of tiles. And so what they've done here in this kit is they give you bags, kind of like. Um, all numbered and so and then on face on YouTube there is a tutorial that you can follow along with but there's all different types sizes and shapes I got some mirror glass and this is much thicker than the mirror I have that we get in the craft stores DE um, some nice uh, pearlescent tiles F this is the glitter tile so I have some of this stuff this one's just a shiny surface it's not metallicized or I mean pearlized G we have this is like a glass I have some of this too now yesterday EFGH this is for the center some more of the little ones with just like a a glossy top I is some of these now I ordered a bunch of these because I think the kids will be able to really do well with circles J is some triangles this is going to fill some of this space here and I love these I wanted to order a bunch of these triangle ones I looked on Amazon last night because when I did my mosaic it was fun to place them side by side and K so this is actual inches inchy size um, stained glass and I just love this color OMG so I mentioned to him and showed him and I was like wow I wonder if she would just sell me the pattern so the pattern being this actual flower shape now I've been making mandalas and um, wood burning them you know and I mean that's not the problem it's that I didn't know how to like create the spaces for the tiles to fit in. Um, it was just too much thinking. And you guys know how I don't like to think. Uh, <laughs> so he ordered this for me and it came all the way from Australia um, today. So it didn't even take very long. I think it's actually a hundred dollars less versus the the way they do the money in Australia so this was I want to say I don't have my thing here say it was three hundred dollars shipped you know Australian money it only came to two hundred dollars shipped my hands are messy I've been playing with tiles um, <clears throat> I just wanted to share that with you guys I was so surprised literally we had we shared a little back and forth with the woman now this is called um, <clears throat> mosaic tiles Australia dot com and she does have a few tutorials on there but she's in Australia because I like taking a class you guys now that being said one of my subscribers Peter um, I know your last name Peter it's Treasury Road go to Treasury Road on YouTube he is a tile artist, a mosaic artist, and um, I, I don't know why I didn't know that or whatever. I just have been watching his videos so much. Peter, thank you so much <coughs> for messaging me and sharing your beautiful work with me. You are answering a ton of the questions that I had about mosaics because I think before I did mosaics, when I did stained glass, 
I wasn't familiar with all of this different pre-cut type stuff to work with. I just cut all of my pieces out of stained glass sheets. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know how I missed it, but I want to show you. I finished my cross. It's already on the wall. And just this morning I watched a video by Peter of him um, grouting. And how do you keep the grout from being on the back and all over the place because I'm super messy. And he tapes it off smart. And anyway, I think I'm going to continue on this journey for a little while. This piece of glass right here is a very scratchy piece. Like I probably should have turned it over and I didn't realize that, but I'm learning a lot and um, feeling very uh, prepared now. I've done a little bit of research. The other thing he mentioned was what, finishing the backs, and I'm a very, I don't like prepping and I don't like finishing necessarily. I always love the details, but it is important to take care of uh, or to, to show that you cared when you're making. So I should have used a matte finish for this, but I, it's mine, so I just put a metallic black on there because I do like the shiny things, Peter. Peter twiling or twilling. Anywho, um, so this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be working on this big mandala. Sorry, I just saw a little piece. And the other thing is the grouting. I'm not really proficient at this stuff yet. That's why I'm kind of taking these shares with you guys really beginner step by step and as I learn I'll let you know but until then um, I'll put a link in the description box for Peter's channel um, Treasury Road if you have any interest in mosaics he covers quite a bit and he's in Australia too a lot of mosaicers down in Australia or yeah down under all right you guys so look what I have today thank you Joe my favorite person in the world all right I'm going to be busy. Thanks for watching.